everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. Glad you're back for some more oh. this week. Oh. <laughs> John's oh. proud because, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. said it wrong. <laughs> yeah. And now this time I got it right. <laughs> So anyways, all this week we're going to talk about some more random questions, <laughs> which I think are going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, going to just be some really stupid stuff we're going to laugh and giggle about, but hey, it'll, yeah. <laughs> it'll, get, it'll get you through your break, so uh, make sure you share it with your friends so they can come on. <laughs> Su suffer like you do. Right? <laughs> Don't go it alone. <laughs> Right. Make them <laughs> deal with it if you have to. <laughs> so today is Monday. And so for Monday, I thought, what better way to start off than to talk about toilet paper? <laughs> well, I mean, there's been shortages recently. So, um, yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm always finding those commercials amazing. You know, <laughs> you know, the last thing you should have to deal with is a shortage of toilet paper. So... We over here at Charmin, well, we're working around the clock. I'm wondering if they're working around the clock 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they've been doing this for months. Where is it? What are they, what, like what, what, they, did they get one perfected roll? We spent millions on one giant roll, and then someone said, no, no, lots of smaller rolls. Oh, <laughs> I keep wondering, shouldn't there be semis of that stuff floating around by now? I mean, come on. How long have they been at it? <laughs> I, well, I, I, you kind of wonder. I digress. You know. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> I just, it, it just makes me, because the funny thing was, is I, I'll tell all those poor souls out there the secret. I never went without anything. I just went to the place where no one else goes. <laughs> it's like people go i don't go to the dollar store well, how, how come because that's where like things with bad dates go and i go yeah but toilet paper has a bad date on it yeah. <laughs> so I, i'm walking in there going how many can i get and there's a whole there's a whole like wall of it so can i get like five yeah i get five i try not to be greedy wait a day i come back down it's gonna all be gone by now no so can i get like five yeah Sure. Oh, oh, okay. This goes on for like eight days in a row. You saw, you saw what I had. I'm like, yeah, I saw your stash. I, I, I'm like, nobody's figured this out yet. Really? And I'm in there. So I'm now I'm finally, now there's like four people in the store. They've gone, shh, don't tell anyone you saw me in a dollar store. What? You, and you finally went and what happened to your brain? This is all. This is all the stuff I pay extra money for in the grocery store. <laughs> yep. So I mean, I, 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 I never had any problem. I never witnessed the thing. And I mean, literally, imagine that. I never witnessed what everybody was witnessing. I was like, going, "You guys can't get any, huh? No, where are you getting it? Nowhere special. I'm just walking in there, going, they got like four hundred packs." <laughs> And a four pack of toilet paper for a dollar? I'm there. Not like I'm cheap or anything, but I'm there. You are cheap. Come on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I tried to save a few bucks on a plastic bag and shrinky date my toes. Yeah. You know, I told my coworkers that story the other day. Uh. I'm sure they loved it. Everybody loves to make fun of me. <laughs> They're just not sure that they would ever have dinner with you if you were cooking. <laughs> well, the, the, the former miss and I were speaking about it for a moment the other day. And she was like, it was really, 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 really good. It really was good. Once you browned it, it was yeah. great. Best she'd ever had. She's like, but I got to admit, that looked weird. I'm sure it did. <laughs> I mean, when you realize you took a 20 pound bird and got it jammed into a two pound bag, you know, and it's like, what in the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Didn't lose any moisture in that bag. Did it disintegrate the bag? 
No, the bag got tighter and tighter and tighter. And before it exploded in, like imploded, not exploded. In, oh, before it imploded. It, before <laughs> it did that, she said, something's wrong with your turkey. No, it's not. Yeah, there is. The bag is gone. I'm like, the bag isn't gone. <laughs> well, the bag wasn't gone. I was right. The bag was just a whole lot smaller than when it started. Took some work to get it off there. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah, it was it was hard to get it off. It was <laughs> so the TP Chronicles. <laughs> you love just you love just going. I want to think about how dumb you are. Let's talk. <laughs> let's talk more about how dumb you are, John. Let's do that. Come on. I don't want to talk about toilet paper. Let's talk about how dumb you are. You're a guy. You're dumb. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I just think it's the funniest thing ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of people that agree with you that that was a very special moment in their lives that can't be replaced. <laughs> okay, but now I need to take a break, and then when we come back, we really will talk about toilet paper. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to Quiggy with Ms. B. If you missed the first half of the episode, please go back and listen because he, once again, we're talking about <laughs> shrink eating. Now we're talking about toilet paper. Now I never had, was subjected to this thing that anybody else <laughs> Then, of course, the shrinky dink came up. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, we'll get to the actual question, the random question now. <laughs> okay, it goes like this. What's the most common color of toilet paper in France? <laughs> now, normally I would just blurt out white, but you're only asking the question for an obvious reason, and that's because it ain't white. <laughs> so what is the preferred color of, of, uh, of uh, anti-fecal removing uh, apparatus in uh, French? <laughs> French reasons. Un de uh, let's see. What colored toilet paper comes from the land of omelette du fromage? Uh, I'll say yellow. Pink. I was going to say pink, but I thought not even the French are that weird. Pink? Yep. So why, why would you have any color at all? Well... I don't one, know. But the one that there's only one that know. made there's one that made sense to me. Do you know what color toilet paper made sense to me? White. No. There's what? one that made the brown one made sense to me. Well, there's brown toilet paper that has no. It's just paper. You know, like the brown paper you see where it's not bleached or anything. It's just paper. Yeah, that they that they use for like um. No. That they have in the bathrooms to wipe your hands. Right. Yeah. Them. That's unbleached. That's just yeah. paper. Oh, natural. Yeah, that makes that <laughs> makes sense to me. Why do people have a why do people have a a, a decorator need for the TP? Uh, well, we've printed elaborate designs. Uh, I'm gonna wipe my butt with it. I don't need the elaborate design. Uh, the mo oh no, that's it. Motif. It's a lovely motif that goes with any decor. It's a butt wipe. <laughs> There's no decor involved. A la wipe a butt. It, it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's to do the one thing nobody wants to do. <laughs> That's the job it has. Like, it fits in a decor. What? Well, you know, you're foofing the toilet paper by giving it color, I think. Foo foo. Uh, now, <laughs> now, now think about it. Now think about it. Would you be in a bathroom where they had brown paper? And go, you know, it was a good bathroom and it was nice, but as I was about to wipe my butt, I noticed it wasn't as visually astounding as it could have been. What? What? When I, when I think pink toilet paper, I think that, you know, they have, a, oh, what do they call those things? Crocheted uh, doilies in the bathroom. 
Well, number one, <laughs> it's kind of foo -foo. <laughs> why why they're foo, foo? It's like. We don't want anybody to know what really happens in here. So we did this. We all know what happens in here. And when you and when you reach for the foo foo at deco toilet, listen, you're gonna wipe your butt with it, okay? There's kindly a very small obligation here. Just get it right and that's all. I hope that doesn't leave your bum pink. Oh. Oh, Can you imagine right. if the you know the uh, dye ended up on your bum? Well, number one, since no one will be gazing upon my bum, I don't really believe it'd be a big deal. But you know, you can't walk around with a pink bum. Well, it's not like people are. If, be foo -foo. if any if anybody's looking at a guy's bum, going, did you know there's a pink residue? I'm going. Like, You're way too close. If you can see a pink residue through my denim jeans uh you're gonna want to back up a little here because uh yeah yeah, oh. yeah, yeah item is a little closer <laughs> than this oh my gosh if they did some kind of something wrong with the dye and when you went to wipe and then all of a sudden your bum is pink and then it bleeds well, let me ask you a question afterwards. how would you no but how would you know well you would know when you go take your underwears off because then your underwears would be pink. Not if you're a guy who wears gray underwear. <laughs> you can still be able to see pink. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that works, but okay. I don't believe it, but okay. Why would, why would you want gray colored underwears? <laughs> why would you want anything but gray? I thought you just said white underwears. <laughs> why? Why? I, I don't get it. You can have whatever color you want. <laughs> it's just that it seems that, you know, gray works. <laughs> that just sounds so out of the box for you. <laughs> gray and black. That's the guy. <laughs> what do you think I want? Do you have anything more guy like? Do you, uh, I, 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 I like I like the gray, it's but the, it's I, I, I like the gray, but it's not. I can't pull the color in with the rest of the ensemble. Do you have anything other than gray? <laughs> no, no, I'm not looking for you know someone to help me knock out an ensemble with underwear. That's not happening. So uh, I'm not sure where you're at or why you're there, but uh, listen. Guys just do that. They just go for white. They go white. It's underwear. It's okay. I'm wearing them. Ta-da. See, but I, when I, I was taught at a young age, if you can get a darker color, do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm a guy, so you know, out there working and all that, reaching there, pull up your your Brit, you might get grease or whatever on them. So yeah, you kind of want to have them be darker. Mm hmm You know. In case of emergencies. <laughs> well, the main thing was is always. Always follow your grandmother's rule. Put the clean ones on every morning. What if you have an accident? <laughs> I don't want people going, you're like, you know, Grandma, if my arms get ripped off in a horrifying <laughs> shredding accident, and someone comes by and goes, I noticed you end the way of a clean. Uh, I, number one, I mean, uh, can I get a different doctor? Please? <laughs> my arms need to be reattached. Stop looking at my underwear. <laughs> and on that note we're going to go buy some fruit of the loom <laughs> you're weird <laughs>